Yo guys, really quick before the video starts, according to YouTube's analytics, 98% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is like, what are you doing, bro? Just hit the button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I wanted to share with you guys how to collect every item. And when I say item, I mean furniture item as well as accessories uh, in Animal Crossing as quickly and easily as possible. So if you're like myself, you're probably on that grind trying to collect as many things as you can to decorate the inside and outside of your house. And it can be a real hassle trying to collect everything, whether it be through uh, Nook's Crane, the Nook Shop, uh, or just finding DIY projects along the beach or in trees. So I wanted to make a video and give you guys a guide on what you should do and give you guys a good strategy uh, to collect as many items as you can as quickly as you can. So uh, essentially, the first thing that you want to do is start with a lot of money. Uh, I have a video that I just uploaded earlier today on how to make a ton of money collecting exotic fruit. I'll leave a link to that uh, at the end of this video so you can check that out. Uh, but essentially, you want to start with a decent amount of money and you want to pick a specific day of the year. So I started with April 1st. Uh, you can do this time traveling. That is generally how I do it to go fast. Uh, if you don't want to cheat and you want to play the right way, then you can still do the strategy and it works just as well. It just won't be as quick. Um, but essentially, again, like I said, you want to start with one day of the year. I'm starting with April 1st uh, with a decent amount of money and you want to go to Nook's Cranny. When you go to Nook's Cranny, obviously there's random items that are generated every single day. Sometimes you'll get some, uh, some of the same items. Uh, most of the time you're going to get new items. And you want to make sure that you're documenting what items you already have. You can actually check that by going to the Nook Shop uh, in the residence building. And you can go through and everything that's in the Nook Shop is something that you've had your hands on in game. That you've either built, that you've come across, that you've purchased. Uh, and you can basically start with that list. What I generally do is keep a list on my phone. And every time I get a new item, I'll put it into that list in an alphabetical order form. So that I know what items in the game that I have. Yeah, that probably goes a little bit too hard. But it's much easier to keep track of what I have and what's new uh, and what I, what I don't have. So uh, you want to keep track. After you go to Nook's Cranny, you want to purchase everything that's new. You want to get one of each item. When you do that, it's going to go into your catalog in the Nook Shop catalog. At that point, you're able to purchase almost everything on different days uh, whenever you want. So if it's in the catalog, you'll be able to pick it up. You know, if you're doing something like Let's say, for example, you, f you find a floor light in the shop and you know when you decorate your house, you want more than one floor light. You only need to buy one at the beginning. When it comes to decorating your house, you can go to the Nook shop and order more floor lights. So it'll be re really easy to do that. You don't have to stress about buying multiple things at one time. But after you hit Nook's Cranny, the next thing that you want to do is hit the residence building and check the Nook shop. Now, every day there's specialty items. There's always going to be two types of furniture items slash accessories. A lot of the times they're going to be something that's already in your Nook shop catalog, but sometimes you'll get something that's new. And that's a good way uh, to also get another extra item uh, or an extra two items every single day that you're playing. Uh, you can also get DIY projects. Now, obviously, this has to do with a lot of the furniture and accessories in game. Uh, and the best way to do that while you're doing this strategy is to make sure that you're checking the beach every single day that you log in. Every day that you log in, there's going to be a bottle that washes up on shore with a DIY project in it. You may already have it, but if you don't, you can use it and add it to your catalog and, uh, and really keep track of what you have. Uh, so again, make sure you're hitting the Nook's Cranny, then go hit the Nook Shop. You can also check the Miles Program. Uh, now, the Miles Program generally doesn't change. It's almost always the same stuff. Uh, but as you're collecting these miles by opening your bank every single day, you're going to be able to purchase more and more items, therefore adding it to your catalog and collecting as many items as you possibly can. So once you hit that, then collect that DIY project every day that washes up on the beach, and then rinse and repeat, uh, time travel, or wait it out until the next day. So for example, like I said, I started on April 1st. First, I just work my way through. Um, the way that I continue to make money so that I don't run out on a specific day to buy something is because I have a giant exotic fruit farm on my island. Every couple of days, that's, that fruit respawns. And every time it respawns, I'll collect it all and sell it and really just stash the money so that as the days go on and I'm going through, uh, I'm able to have enough money to purchase everything. If there's something in the store that's 200,000 bells, fortunately, I'll already have enough and can buy it and continue moving on to the next day. So uh, it's a slow process when it comes to making money at the same time that you're doing this. But it's a really, really effective strategy to collecting as many items as you possibly can uh, and really keep track of it. Now, obviously, if I go on April 1st and then I log out and time travel to July and then travel back to April 1st, there's probably going to be new items uh, in Nook's Cranny. But it's just easier to go day after day um, and really collect them and add them to your catalog and pay attention to how much stuff you have. 
Other than that, there's really not any other good way of collecting as many items as possible. Those are the three or four best ways. Again, Nook's Cranny, the Nook Shop, redeem the miles, and then collect the DIY projects. Those are the four main ways that you're going to get all of these items. And, uh, and this is the best strategy to go about doing this. Uh, logging in every day, whether you're time traveling, you can knock out several days uh, in a real uh, in one real life day. Um, and it's really easy to, to blow up your catalog. I've already gotten several hundred items. Uh, I feel like I'm already getting close to the amount of items in the game uh, because of my order. I just have like so many things. And, uh, and when you collect everything, it makes it so much easier to start decorating your house. I know a lot of people like collecting sets and, uh, and having each room maybe like a specific kitchen set or a specific bedroom set. And uh, once you're able to collect all of these items uh, and put them in your storage, it's very easy to go through and kind of pick and choose what you want. Um, but that's another thing I don't think I mentioned. As you're buying these items, once you kind of fill yourself up in your inventory, make sure that you're depositing all these into your home storage. Uh, I have my house upgraded all the way, so I believe I have 1,600 open slots, which is obviously plenty if I'm trying to collect every item in the game. Um, so just store it in your house and, uh, and keep going. If you want to start placing furniture in your house, you can. But for me specifically, I just like getting it and putting it in my storage so I can kind of just keep track. And, uh, and once I get almost every item in the game, I feel like at some point I'm going to be missing an item or two. Um, I'm going to just keep it all in my house until I get everything and then just start building cool uh, certain rooms that I want. So uh, this is the best way to get every item. Again, I just wanted to make this video and give you guys a strategy if you're looking to do that and trying to figure out what the best way to go about doing that is. Um, so hopefully this video helps some of you out. But uh, if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about trying to collect all of the items in Animal Crossing, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?